to the fact that one last ride with the, with, the, with the boys? I mean, is what's that? What's those emotions and feelings like? Oh man, I mean, I've been preaching to the guys. I mean, ever since I got back, I mean. It's, it's, I got one more game with you guys. I mean, I'm just taking it each and every day with a purpose. I mean, like I, like I, like Coach said, man, you gotta take each each and every day with a uh, with a purpose each and every day, and that's all I do. I mean, I come out I come out to pray to work my tail off, compete with my guys each and every day, and I'm just thankful I get I get another opportunity to maroon and white. What's this place kind of meant to you? Oh man, it meant it meant the words to me knowing uh, I came here in 2015, and now I'm leaving in 2019. So, I mean, it's, it's been an awesome ride. I'm just thankful for the uh, the journey I had here. How do you feel about the offensive line that you're leaving behind? Do you feel like you're leaving in pretty good hands? Oh, I'm leaving the offensive line in pretty good hands. I mean, Coach Johnson, he's, he's, he's going to do an excellent job with those guys. I mean, I think Darian Park going to do an excellent job of getting guys prepared for the next season. I'm looking forward to seeing how those guys beat uh, in 2020 in 2020 season. So. Have you guys started moving forward from out of the development part of practice into the game plan? And oh, ready we got into we got to some game plan today. I mean, we're looking. I mean, we're looking at their uh, fronts and how they uh, and how they adjust to our fronts. So I'm, I'm looking forward to the challenge. Uh, this, uh, 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 what's called on December 30th. Barry, what's it been like to block for Kyle over the last few years, and what kind of pro running back do you think he's going to be? Um, it's been a, it's been a journey blocking with Kyle. I mean, I think he's going to be excellent back in the, in the in the lead. I mean, can't wait to see how his how his, uh, how his journey plans out. And I think he's going to have a, a great career in the field. So I'm looking forward to that. What's the season been like for you in the offensive line, just trying to hold things together with the injuries, the season not going as you want, the setbacks in midseason, and still being able to get to a bowl game and, and keep the string going? I mean. We we've been through so much adversity this year. I mean, I think God just came to kept, kept coming together. Nobody stopped believing in each other. I mean, I think we just had an awesome senior class to help make sure to hold everything accountable, and we we got the job done to get our uh, ten bowl win. I mean, ten bowl bowl scary, So. Would have been like, unthinkable not to go to a bowl. Oh uh, man, it, it, it would have been miserable not going to a bowl. So I'm, I'm glad for that we got one, uh, and we were able to prolong our season a little bit longer. So. You graduated a few years ago, or a few days ago. What uh, what was that like? What was the whole experience like? Oh man, it was a great experience. Knowing I get to walk out this uh, stage, uh, shake Dr. King's hand for the, for one last time. I mean, it was it was a great opportunity to get my degree, and uh, I'm thankful for the thankful Mississippi State. Does he shake your hand more when you get your degree or when you win the Golden Egg? Oh man, I think I think it's more when you get a degree, but I think he shakes a little bit harder too when he get the Golden Egg. I mean, knowing this secure here at Mississippi State, so. We, we obviously all got to see Garrett kind of grow on the field and, and the things he can do on the field. What's some things maturity-wise? How have you seen Garrett grow kind of off the field and the practice field? And stuff? Like, I, like I said, I think he's a natural-born leader. I mean, from like from day one, he stepped into the huddle. Uh, he, he commanded the huddle. I mean, he told me to shut up one day, and I listened. So, <laughs> I mean, that's all I can do. I think he's going to be an excellent leader for this program. I can't, I can't wait to see his uh, how, how bright his future be. So. Do you ever have to kind of try to control yourself not to laugh a little bit at the beard? I talk to him about it. I mean, I tell him, I said, when are you going to shave it? But uh, he, he he always just shoves me off and say, I'm not going to shave it. So he probably shaved it down a little bit, but he's not going to shave it, like, completely down. Did he tell you to shut up about that, too? No, nah, he didn't tell me to shut up about that. He just, <laughs> he just shoved me off with that one. So. You played a lot of games here at Mississippi State. If I put you on the spot, so who's the toughest guy you had to block one-on-one? -on -one? Who would it have been? Oh, man, I mean, you can name so many guys. I mean. I think Simmons was a guy I had to block each and every day of practice. He really, really, he really prepared me each and every uh, week for a game. But uh, I think Derrick Brown was a guy that you really had to bring your your uh, your lunch to the table each and every day, each and every rep when you uh, when you went against him. So he probably was a great guy. What would it mean to end the season with a win in a bowl game? Oh uh, man, in my career off at Mississippi State uh, with the win, I mean, I think it'll be amazing. I mean, knowing that I, I gave my all to this program and uh, and just send us, make sure we just send the seniors out right with uh, with the dubs. So I think it'd be a great opportunity.